Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bearfox and welcome back to another brand new video. Also guys, before starting this video, let me thank you guys a lot for 8,700 subscribers guys. That is too much OP for me. Like literally we have reached 8,000 in the previous week and we are already at 8.7k. Woof, that is definitely a lot. But also guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best settings of GeForce now to stop blur and stutter. Okay guys, all you have to do is just follow each and every step shown in this video because that's going to help you a lot. So yeah, watch this video till the end because any step missed can make everything go wrong. Alright guys, beginning off with some advertisements. So first of all, just join our server because we do drops for accounts and games and a premium, uh, you know, a premium accounts like that. So you can just join our server. We, we are also dropping GeForce Now accounts every now and then. So if you want one, you can just join the server. And yep, yeah, that's for what I have to say. Now again guys, moving to the topic, GeForce Now is definitely the hottest topic just because due to coronavirus, a lot of people are switching to GeForce Now and playing games all day. So that makes the waiting lobby too crowded. So, um, you know, I'll be making a video over that soon. If you want me to make a video, let's hit 30 likes on this video. Comment down. Uh, we want a video over um, the uh, waiting time on GeForce now. I'll definitely gonna be making a video because I have a super simple trick to do, guys. Also, um, let me tell you guys about the GeForce now settings for absolutely no lag and uh, no frame drop all right so what you have to do is just go to your settings and over there um, you have to select the server location that is really near to you all right so for that what you can do is just keep that on auto um, but if you know uh, if you are in Europe or if you are in America that's really simple to do guys just select which region you are in and that's what that should be really good to go but for me I live in India that that's a part of Asia and GeForce now is still not out in Asia so you know there might be a little bit of frame drop if I do a test network but before doing that guys let me tell you uh, we play on uh, EU Northwest just that just because it's really near to me um, but yeah uh, for the streaming quality alright so for choosing this you have to run a speed test if you haven't yet run a speed test guys just download this from the Microsoft Store and that is absolutely free okay so first of all what you have to do is just run a speed test just check out what your ping is if your ping is definite if your ping is above 10 or 20 that's the matter of being in trouble just because you have to contact to your internet service provider because it's all in his hand so you just have to do a speed test of your download and upload speed for me as you guys can see it's above 100 mbps so i can definitely set it to 50 but if you guys have anything between 0 to 50 just make sure to do the same suppose if you have 35 mbps download speed i'll suggest you guys to go by 30 if you have a uh, um, uh, 50 mbps download speed I suggest you guys to go for 45 if you have a 10 mbps upload speed you can go for 5 but if you have lower than 5 guys just let it be on 5 and uh, for resolution guys I suggest you guys go for 1280 go by 780 and uh, neglect going uh, on uh, you know 1920 by 1080 for full HD just go for 1280 by 780 it will give you uh, almost the same result and for the frame rate just reduce it down from 60 to 30 if you want to compromise for better frames uh, you know better frames but what, what I mean is the GeForce now will run on 30 FPS but then your game you can set it on 240 uh, in there in the, from the in-game settings alright guys also moving on adjust for poor network connection I see you guys if you have the internet um, lower than 10 Mbps I suggest you guys to go for uh, turning this on but if you don't have uh, the internet uh, lower than 10 mbps speed if you have internet above 10 mbps speed I suggest you guys to just turn this thing off alright we think just turn this thing off and make sure that you are on custom alright guys then uh, turn off your discord rich presence because that takes a uh, you know a sh uh, small amount of internet so uh, just you know it's better not to be doing that also guys make sure that your network status are turned on and your direct input is turned on if you uh, in case if you don't see this option i have made a video on that previously so there will be a link in the description below and also be a card right on the top of the screen you guys can just go and click there and watch video now guys uh, just test the network and uh, uh, you guys will definitely see the improved result for me i'm going to be showing you guys there will be a little bit of frame uh, drops and uh, packet loss just because i'm in asia and i'm connecting to european servers i know you guys can understand the pain but if you are following these settings throughout i know that is going to be definitely helping you guys so let's just wait and watch for the result So as you guys can see, it says streaming over your network is not recommended. What you guys have to do is just go to details, you just don't have to see anything like this. Just go to your details and see how much frame drops you are facing and how much latency you are facing. Suppose if you are in European region, the latency will be definitely low and then you won't be facing any frame drops. So I hope this video helps you guys 
out guys make sure to do leave a like hit the subscribe button we are definitely close to 10k subscribers guys subscribe to the channel please support me uh, help me reach 10,000 before the end of July guys I know we can do this just do leave a like hit the subscribe button we'll meet you guys in another video till then stay tuned keep watching Bad Fox and bye